I don't. I. Uh, I need this so bad. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Nikki. And in today's video, I have a giant grocery haul for you guys. So we just went to Woodman's, which is probably my favorite place to get groceries. It is local to like the Chicago, Wisconsin area, definitely more Wisconsin, but they have everything. They have all of our favorite brands there, all of our favorite products. So whenever we need a big restock, we kind of plan to go there. We only go there every once in a while because we do like to mix it up and go to other places like Trader Joe's and Aldi and stuff. But we got a lot of stuff today, so I'm gonna go ahead and get right to it. If you enjoyed this video or find it helpful, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And let's jump right in with produce like normal. And I've got a lot in front of me. So starting with some asparagus, I just like to get this every once in a while to use as a side. Usually we have it on nights that we have pasta or if I like grill some chicken or something, but I don't know. I usually prefer it as a side with pasta. It just goes well when I need a good vegetable option at zero points makes it more filling and usually I just add a little bit of seasoning and some garlic and it is perfect. Maybe a little olive oil spray and I usually roast it in the oven or the air fryer. Then I just got some mushrooms. These are just regular mini Bella mushrooms. I use these for a bunch of different things. Pizza bakes, scrambled eggs, and pasta usually but different veggie mixes and stuff. It's just an easy ingredient that I can grab out of the fridge and add in for zero points again. I also got some sweet corn, so this will be really good on the grill. I usually make this when we make burgers. So we'll do burgers, some corn on the cob, and then usually like a sweet potato fry or something like that. So I got this at zero points on WW, and usually I just spray it with some like olive oil or ghee spray and then add some salt. We got some grapes. So the grapes have not been great lately, actually. I'm wondering if they're not in season right now because we just haven't been having luck. No matter what store we've gotten them from, they've been pretty mushy lately. Uh, but these ones actually seem pretty firm. They seem pretty good. So it's just an option for us to have with breakfast and lunches when we want something on the side. I usually end up saving it till after my lunch or something because then when I want something sweet, it satisfies that craving for something sweet and it's zero points for me. Okay, so I got some tomatoes because we have fresh basil in the garden and it is growing like crazy. So I need to use it for something. So I was thinking about making some type of pesto or something, but I also wanna do a caprese salad and I wanna do some pizza bakes with fresh basil, mozzarella, and tomatoes. So I got some regular tomatoes for that. I got some grape tomatoes to chop up and mix with some basil and mozzarella. And that's just the reason I got these. They're both zero points on WW. And honestly, both of them look really good. I'm like, my mouth's watering just thinking about it right now. I've been so excited to use that basil. So I'm happy that I got these. Then I needed some bell peppers. So I got some red and yellow bell peppers. They were actually on sale for pretty cheap today. So that was nice. So I grabbed a good amount of them. These I just use for different dinners, recipes, and for veggie mix. Which actually kind of recently I had uploaded a video where I explain how I make my veggie mix, how I do my turkey burgers and stuff. So I will be sure to link that video in the description of this one because I feel like a lot of times in my grocery hauls when I mention the different recipes I make or ingredients that I prep, uh, I get some questions for the different links for them. So I will link that video where I explain it. But I also got some potatoes. So this was a new flavor. It is a little roasted red pepper and onion. So these come in a grilling tray like this. I usually use one that I have for the grill, but this also works if you wanna grill it in it. I usually spray it with some olive oil spray for zero points and then I shake the seasoning packet it comes with. And then I just cook the potatoes on the grill that way. For the serving of four ounces, it's two points on WW. It's 60 calories, 15 carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. So some of them come with seasoning packets, some don't. I like to get them with the seasoning packets. It's just easier. So it'll be something that we have as a side. Even like the day that I make the corn on the cob and burgers, we might have this as our other side. Then I got some blueberries. I get these every single time I go to the store. It's just something that I can add to my yogurt or just a fruit that I can have on the side of like a breakfast or a lunch. We needed some bananas. So we've just been getting some yellow and some green every time because it's nice to have both options. I usually like them when they're green like this and add them like some yellow. So we use these for protein shakes or we just have them again as like a plain fruit when we need a snack throughout the day. There's something easy to take hiking they're easy for him to pack for work and like I said if we don't use them we use them for banana bread protein shakes different stuff like that okay then I got some shredded carrots this is just an ingredient that's really nice to have on hand to bulk up 
stir fry mixes or veggie mixes in general. A lot of times if I'm making a rice bowl and I want a little bit of crunch, these carrots are perfect. But I've also really been enjoying them in eggs. I don't know why I just love carrots with eggs. It's so random, but it's been really good. There really are so many vegetables I feel like that go well with eggs. I feel like all of them do and it's nice to kind of mix them up. Sometimes I get in like a spinach phase, sometimes just like mushrooms and eggs, and recently it's been carrots. I got two different types of onions, so I just like to get some to have some variety. So I got just some red and yellow onions, again for veggie mixes, different recipes if I make a salsa or something like that, or if we're having burgers and we just want sliced onion or sauteed onion, I always need onions on hand. Then I got some romaine lettuce. This is just for Adam. He usually brings it to work on his sandwiches. We also use it if we make burgers or tacos or something and it's zero points. Then of course my honey crisp apples, which I get every time. I have one apple every single day after dinner and it's just a routine of mine. Even on the days that we go out to eat and kind of splurge or indulge or whatever, I still come home and have my apple because it's just such a routine and I feel like it helps me digest better. I don't know. It just works really well for me. So I get a big honey crisp and I have one every single day. And then I also got some potatoes. So these are simply potatoes. These are the O'Brien hash browns. The serving is two thirds cup and it is two points for that. It's 70 calories, 16 carbs, two grams of fiber and two grams of protein. And kind of like I was mentioning before about vegetables going really well with eggs, I've been using these potatoes to make scrambles every day. So what I do is I just cook up the potatoes. I usually do like a one or two point serving. Then after they've cooked for a little, I add some type of vegetable. So usually it's been like mushrooms and onions. And then I will scramble two eggs in there and just mix it with the potatoes. And it gets so good the way it cooks it like scrambles with the potatoes and then i usually add a little cheese or something in a meat but these potatoes are so easy to have on hand in the fridge i like that they're not frozen honestly it makes it nice that i can just grab them and they're already like soft you don't have to cook them that long but you can cook them long to get them crispy and they're pretty low point okay then moving on to some other things so i needed eggs and i had mentioned recently that i've really only been buying these pasture raised eggs because i've noticed such a difference with even how we feel the taste is better but we also just like don't get a stomach ache after eating them and sometimes we do with the other eggs we buy but these are zero points for us it's a good way to get some protein in and i usually just use them to make like scrambled or over easy eggs for breakfast then for cheese i really like this crystal farms sharp cheddar cheese it's reduced fat so it's three points for the serving of a quarter cup it's got 90 calories, five grams of fat, two carbs, and seven grams of protein. And I just really like the sharp cheddar taste that it has to it. I think it's really good. And it's a good low point option for eggs, pizzas, pastas, anything you need cheddar cheese for. Okay, so I mentioned the caprese salad and stuff. So that's what I got these mozzarella pearls for. So like I said, I'm just gonna cut up some of the grape tomatoes and then use these for that with some of the fresh basil. And then I also got just like the single ball like this of fresh mozzarella because I'm gonna cut some slices to put on a flatbread when we do like a pizza bake with some tomatoes and tomato sauce and basil, I'm super excited. And for both of these, for the serving of one ounce, it is 70 calories and it's three points on WW. So it is a lower point cheese option. And I love fresh mozzarella, it's so good. Okay, some meats we got. So we got some turkey pepperoni. This is just a staple item that we always have on hand because I use it for pizzas, but I also use it for different snacks if I'm just gonna make like a quick pizza wrap or a pizza dia. It's two points for the serving of 17 slices. It's 70 calories, four grams of fat, and it's got nine grams of protein in that serving. So that's another thing I like about it. It helps to keep me a little bit more full because it's higher in protein. And I just like the flavor of it. Honestly, it's gotten to the point now where I really prefer this over regular pepperoni. Just because regular pepperoni always gives me heartburn and this one doesn't. Then we needed bacon. So another thing we pretty much get every time is just a pack of center cut bacon. I don't always have it made, but when I do, I just make the whole pack. I also showed that in the recent video that I will have tagged in the description, but I pop it in the oven and then once it's cooked, we just have it in a black container and we can use it for a bunch of different recipes, whether it's like a BLT or a breakfast or something. For the serving of two pieces, it is two points on WW, 60 calories, four and a half grams of fat and five grams of protein. Then this is something we recently tried in a snack review, which hopefully I've shown that. I don't know if I've shown it. I think I have. But these are the Johnsonville chicken jalapeno cheddar sausages. 
and we really enjoyed them. We really like the turkey cheddar sausages, but when we tried these, we realized we like them even more, and they're actually three points for the link. They're 100 calories, six grams of fat, two carbs, and nine grams of protein. So this will be something we can cut up and toss into eggs. We can put on a pizza bake. We can do two ingredient dough and wrap them in them and bake them so they're kind of like bagel dogs. That's really good. And so I was glad to see those. Then I got two pounds of 99% lean ground turkey. I'm just going to make a big batch of turkey burgers with this. I'm already planning on that for the week. And then I got some ground chicken and ground turkey. This is the 93% lean ground turkey. So for both of these, it's four points for the serving of four ounces. They're both a good high protein option with 20 grams of protein in the serving and 22 grams of protein. And what I'm going to do with this is mix them together and cook them with some taco seasoning just to make some taco meat. I recently did that where I combined the two and I actually really liked it. So it won't be zero point taco meat, but it'll be like three to four points for the serving depending on what we use. And it'll be nice to just have a big batch prepped in the fridge. Okay, then we needed some more bread. So our favorite, Ezekiel, which we had switched to the flax for a little bit there and we were trying some other flavors and we're back to the sesame, which I think we both agree is just our favorite, right? Yeah, yeah we both agree the sesame is our favorite. So... They have a few other options, but for this one, it is one point for one slice. It's three points for two slices. It is 80 calories for one, one gram of fat, 15 carbs. It's got three grams of fiber and five grams of protein. So I like that it has some extra protein. It's got some fiber in it and it honestly just tastes really good. I love how it tastes when it's toasted and we use it for breakfast sandwiches, tuna sandwiches, and just anything we need bread for. I even use it for French toast. Okay, somehow we completely ran out of tortillas, which has, I don't think has happened since we started our weight loss journey. Honestly, we've had the thing where we just like buy so many tortillas because we use them so much. So there's just always been a pack in our fridge and somehow we went through all of them and we haven't gotten more. So we definitely needed to stock up this time. What I'm talking about with the tortillas, we have extreme wellness wraps. So we have the regular size. These are one point for one. It's 60 calories for one, one and a half grams of fat, 15 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, and four grams of protein. And then I also got the large ones. So I actually prefer to have the large ones. Adam prefers to have two of the smaller ones. It's three points if you have two of them. And then for one large one, it is two points. It's 80 calories, two grams of fat, 24 carbs, 17 grams of fiber, and 8 grams of protein, and both of them are the exact same. It's just different sizes. They both air fry really well, and there's so many different things that you can put on a wrap, so we are just always making new things with them. Then we also got some La Banderita wraps. So these are the carb counter version. They are one point for one tortilla, 45 calories, one gram of fat, 15 carbs, 11 grams of fiber, and five grams of protein. And these I think taste even more just like regular flour tortillas compared to the Extreme Wellness. I feel like these have a little bit different of a taste to them, but these ones I think taste even more like it. And they're really good in the air fryer. Again, I use them for breakfast burritos, chicken wraps, BLT wraps, different stuff. Okay, then I was also excited to see these because we really like to make flatbreads with these. I'm excited that we got so many groceries because I feel like I've been kind of struggling to put meals together because I haven't had good ingredients and now I've got so many that I can make so many different meals with. But anyway, these are just flatbreads for the whole thing. It's two points. The serving size on the back is actually for a half flatbread, which is one point. It's 60 calories for half, one and a half grams of fat, eight carbs, two grams of fiber, and six grams of protein. And these toast up really well if you put, like I said, make them like a flatbread pizza. Actually, these would be really good with some of the tomato and crazy stuff. But I also got these for that reason, and that's kind of what I'm planning on doing, is making a giant pizza with the fresh basil and stuff, which kind of looks like the picture that they have. So for one entire crust, it is 10 points on WW. And last time, actually, Adam and I each ended up eating an entire pizza to ourselves because really we didn't put that many points of toppings and 10 points isn't bad for an entire pizza. The serving size is for a quarter of the crust, which is three points. It's 140 calories for that serving, two and a half grams of fat, 25 carbs. It's got five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and six grams of protein. And yeah, it's pretty much just a regular pizza crust, but it is a seven sprouted whole grain pizza crust. So it does have a little bit more of like a wheat flavor to it, but I think it baked really well last time and it was really good. It's also vegan and dairy free, soy free and nut free, so yeah. Okay, moving on to some freezer items. So Adam really likes these Kodiak blueberry waffles 
For the serving of two waffles, it is 7 points on WW. It's 240 calories, 11 grams of fat, 25 carbs, 3 grams of fiber, 7 grams of sugar, and 12 grams of protein. And sometimes what he'll do is put a little bit of like PB2 on them and some berries or something or some banana. And it just bulks them up a little bit more and makes a really filling breakfast that has a good amount of protein. I got these Applegate chicken and maple breakfast sausages. They are so good and they are so perfect for McGriddle breakfast sandwiches. So that's just the main reason I get them. It's two points for one patty, 60 calories, four grams of fat, two carbs, two grams of sugar, and five grams of protein. And pretty much that's what I'm gonna be using these for. So I just keep these in the freezer and I can take them out whenever I need them. Then Adam needed some breakfast options that he can bring to work. So he really likes these Jimmy Dean Delights, which I've been thinking about just making my own version for him to pack up and bring because it would be so easy. He takes the cheese off and I use the egg molds that are pretty much the same for these. So. I need to just make him some. But anyway, for now, these are eight points for one sandwich. It's 270 calories, eight grams of fat, 31 carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 18 grams of protein. And it's just a convenient option that he can pack with him for lunches. Then he found a new one today. So this is on ciabatta, which honestly, this sounds really good to me. I might try one of these, but it looks really good from the picture as well. I love ciabatta bread. This one's also eight points for the sandwich. It is egg whites, turkey sausage, and cheese. For one, it is 260 calories, 10 grams of fat, 26 carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and 16 grams of protein. So this is another option for him to bring to work. I just wanna see the size of them because the picture looks really big, but okay, not bad. So this is what it looks like. Okay, then this is something so random. It's not low in points, but I eyeball it every single time we go to Woodman's. And that is the Milwaukee Pretzel Company Bavarian Pretzel. So this thing is a pound. It is for a fifth of the pretzel, eight points on WW. That serving's 250 calories, three and a half grams of fat, 47 carbs, two grams of fiber, and seven grams of protein. And honestly, I'm just so excited to make this. I'll have to use some weeklies whenever we have it, but it'll be when we do an appetizer night or something for dinner. So yeah, I just had to grab one of these one time so we could at least try it out. Okay, then we got some bird's eye veggie mac and cheese. So it is elbows with cheese sauce. It's pasta made from zucchini and lentils. So we've gotten this many times. It's a good quick and easy side that I can just throw in the microwave when I am making a protein or something, whether it's like grilling or even burgers or something. I have the meat and usually we can just throw this in the microwave and make it really quickly. So for the serving of a cup, it's five points on WW. It's 170 calories, five grams of fat, 22 carbs, two grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. And there are two and a half servings in the bag. So usually Adam and I just split one and each have like a six or seven point serving, but it's just a convenient freezer option to have on hand. Then same with these. These are good for like an appetizer night or a side with burgers or something. These are zucchini tots and the flavor is sour cream and onion. For the serving of six pieces, it's four points on WW. It's 130 calories, eight grams of fat, 14 carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and three grams of protein. And they also have like a pizza flavor, a Parmesan flavor, which I don't know if we've tried that one, but I do know that this one's our favorite that we've tried so far. The pizza kind of tastes like pizza rolls, but either way, it's just a good lower point option. It's got some vegetables in it, one full serving of vegetables per serving and we really like them. And usually we just pop them in the air fryer to heat them up. Then I got some green giant rice veggies. This is the sweet potato and cauliflower mix. This is my all time favorite. I use it for fried rice, Spanish rice, any type of rice that I try to bulk up a little bit with some low point options. This is only one point for a third of the bag. It's 50 calories, 11 carbs, two grams of fiber and two grams of protein for that serving. And usually I just incorporate the points however I make the recipe, but such a good option. Okay, I got a couple vegetable mixes just for convenience because we do usually have a lot of fresh produce, but sometimes we run out before we can go to the store. And so it's nice to have options in the freezer that are easy but packed with vegetables. This is a veggie spiral skillet. So it's made with zucchini spirals, carrots, and broccoli in a sweet Asian style sauce. It is two points for the serving of a cup. It is 50 calories for that, two grams of fat, 
eight carbs, two grams of fiber, three grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. And honestly, I just want to make this with sesame noodles. So I know it's already the zucchini spirals that are kind of like noodles. I think it'll be good to mix it in with that and some type of protein. And then that would be a meal so easy to throw together with a lot of vegetables. That's why I got that one. And then I also got this one, which is sweet and white potatoes with broccoli and cauliflower. This is just another shredded vegetable mix. And I thought that this would be really good with eggs. So I might do like a quiche with it or something. And this one does have some oil in it. So it's two points for the serving of three quarter cup, 60 calories, one gram of fat, 12 carbs, two grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and one gram of protein. So it does have a little seasoning. It's got garlic, sea salt, black pepper, and olive oil. And I just think it'll be perfect as a breakfast option. Then I needed some taco seasoning so I just always get the mild taco from Taco Bell this is our favorite seasoning that we've tried I needed some panko breadcrumbs so these are what I use whenever I make meatballs or turkey burgers or chicken burgers I usually just use like one or two points worth so I don't track it until I'm making the recipe I got some non-fat plain Greek yogurt I use this to make two ingredient dough or chicken salad. I've also been using it in tuna salad lately and I think I like it better than using the light mayo. I find that it kind of gives it a cheese flavor. Like I feel like it tastes like cheddar cheese mixed in. And so it's zero points, it adds more protein and I like how it tastes. So I've been using that for that as well. I also got some Dan and Light and Fit vanilla Greek yogurt. This is just the tub I like to buy. And then when I have it every night, I just scoop out the portion using my food scale. I weigh it out and I usually have a two point serving. The serving size on it is a three point serving for three quarter cup. It's 90 calories, 10 carbs, eight grams of sugar and 14 grams of protein. So I like to have that with some berries and Kashi peanut butter cereal. Then I got some of the individual containers. So this is the caramel apple pie. This is just my favorite flavor of like the individual cups like this. It's two points for the cup, 80 calories, and it's got 12 grams of protein. So this has just been a nice snack to have on hand during the summer, like midday. Sometimes I want a yogurt, even though I have mine at night. Sometimes I want something different and I feel like this tastes a lot different. It's really good. It's got a little bit of apple chunks and some cinnamon in it. And it's just one of my favorite flavors that they have. Adam needed some cold brew. So this is the unsweetened black cold brew that he always gets. He just mixes it with some skinny syrups usually and some cashew milk. So it keeps it zero points. It's 15 calories for 12 ounces and three carbs. Okay, we did get some stuff that I'm not gonna show just because it'll be for a snack review, so it'll be a surprise, but we got some hummuses that we usually get all the time. So we have the Ithaca Grillo's Pickles Hummus, and this is so good. It tastes so good, I don't even know. I love having it with pretzels and tortilla chips. It's only one point for two tablespoons, 45 calories. It's got two grams of fat, five carbs, and two grams of protein. And it is just the best collaboration of these two brands. It's so good. One of my favorite hummuses, like I said. Then my other favorite hummus would have to be the Lantana black bean hummus. So this one I use as more of like a snack. This one I use on like wraps or bowls, like more as like an ingredient because it's almost kind of just like refried beans. For the serving of two tablespoons, it's one point on WW. It's 50 calories, two grams of fat, five carbs and two grams of protein. Then we needed some cashew milk. So we got some of the silk unsweetened cashew milk. This is the plain flavor. It is one point for one cup, 25 calories. It's got two grams of fat, one carb and one gram of protein. And they got a whole new like packaging design. So we actually had a hard time finding it at first, but I use this for protein shakes. I use it to make different sauces or just anything that I need milk for, whether it's like a baking recipe or a creamy or something, I can use cashew milk for usually. Okay, we needed some popcorn seeds. So we just got these, they're zero points on WW. I just use my regular air popper and I pop the seeds and then I usually just spray it with some ghee spray, add some salt and maybe one of the flavorings that we have. But this is just a really good zero point option. It really is a good option for a base of snack mixes. And we've been out for a little bit and I keep forgetting to get it at the store. We finally remembered today. Shout out Adam actually remembered. So <laughs> we got our popcorn. Okay, then we needed some more pasta. So bonza shells, these are made from chickpeas. So I still feel like I hear like it's hot or cold with people. They either like it or they don't. 
It does have a different flavor to it, but we honestly like it. And especially when we mix it with different sauces and stuff, you don't notice as much. It has 50% more protein, three times the fiber, and 25% fewer carbs than regular pasta. So that's why it's an option that we usually go for. It is four points for the serving of two ounces, 190 calories, three grams of fat, 35 carbs. It's got five grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. So there are only certain noodles that I buy because some of them kind of fall apart, like the wheels and the alphabet. And I feel like there's more, but I like to get the shells, the cavatappi, and I think the rotini is a good one, but Anyway, it's just a good pasta option to have. We were pretty much out of pasta, so I also got some Barilla Protein Plus pasta, which this is definitely my favorite. I got the Rotini for this one and the bow ties, and both of these are just so good as like tuna noodles or with red sauce, white sauce. Pretty much anything I need pasta for, I use this. For the serving of two ounces, it's four points on WW. It's 190 calories, 38 carbs, five grams of fiber, two grams of sugar and 10 grams of protein. So it's another higher protein option and just my favorite by far. Then I also really, really like the al dente pastas. So they have some carbonata options, which this one's usually harder for me to find. So I was happy I found it today. Both of them for the serving, it's three points on WW. For this one, it is 180 calories, one and a half grams of fat. 32 carbs, 8 grams of fiber, and 16 grams of protein. So an even higher protein option. Then this one is 170 calories for two cups dry, which is a fifth of the bag. So if you make this entire bag, it's 15 points on WW. Usually Adam and I have a third of it, and then we have a third left over. So we usually have a five point serving, but it's 170 calories for a fifth of it, one and a half grams of fat, 25 carbs, eight grams of fiber, two grams of sugar, and 15 grams of protein. Okay, Adam needed some more buffalo sauce, so this is just his all-time favorite, Sweet Baby Ray's buffalo wing sauce. Although, I have to say, I think the Kinders is kind of competing with it lately. He has been really enjoying that one. So, both of them are a point for two tablespoons, but for one tablespoon, it's zero points. For one, it's 20 calories, two grams of fat, and one carb, and he uses this for literally everything. So if you like buffalo sauce, this is a good option. <laughs> okay, moving on to some snacky things. I got some Safe and Fair Birthday Cake Granola. I love this granola, and honestly, I just haven't gotten it in so long. I kind of forgot about it. For the serving of a third cup, it's five points on WW. It's 130 calories, four and a half grams of fat, 21 carbs, one gram of fiber, nine grams of sugar, and two grams of protein. And this is pretty sweet, but it is so good. Honestly, I can just think of what it tastes like right now, and I'm excited to put it on my yogurt again. It's gluten-free and vegan, and it just has a really good sweetness to it. It's a really good granola. Then I got some Quest tortilla chips. So these are their protein chips. My favorite flavor, and actually Adam's too, is the loaded taco. That's pretty much the only kind that we buy. And they are pretty expensive, but they are one of my favorite snacks just because they really fill me up. Like when I'm in the mood to eat a bunch of chips and stuff, if I just have a bag of these, it really does satisfy me and I don't need to like keep snacking because they're so salty and flavorful but also packed with protein so they really do actually fill me. So for one bag it's three points on WW, it's 140 calories, five grams of fat, five carbs, one gram of fiber, and 19 grams of protein. So this is my favorite flavor like I said. I highly recommend these. I wish they weren't as expensive as they were but to me it's something that's definitely been worth it to just even invest in like feeling better. And yeah, I love those. Okay, another thing I love that I have only been able to find at Woodman's lately is the Like Air Pancake Popcorn bags like this. So this is just my favorite. I really like the cinnamon bun, but I think I still like the pancake the best. I can't even make a decision. For the serving of about three cups, it's 150 calories on WW. 9 grams of fat, 17 carbs, it's got 1 gram of fiber, 4 grams of sugar, and 1 gram of protein. And the taste is just so good. It is so addicting. I really recommend you portion out the serving before you eat it if you do have this because it is so easy to just keep eating it, but it is so good. Okay, I was excited to see that they did this because Woodman's is the place that I always buy a bunch of them and it's self-checkout. And every time I go to put the meat stick down, like after I scan it, it doesn't register on the like self-checkout and it takes forever because I usually buy like 12 of them. So this time they have four packs, which I've never seen before. So I got three four packs of the 
Mighty Spark Chicken Sticks. These are the Honey Jalapeno flavor. This is my all-time favorite. These are two points for one. It's got 60 calories in one stick and six grams of protein, four carbs, and three grams of sugar. But these are just such a good quick and easy snack I can just grab on the go. Even if I like know I'm going to be running out and I'm not going to be able to eat a meal quickly, I can have one of these and it really does kind of hold me over until I can have my meal. But I also got a different flavor. So this is just their original sea salt and pepper. And these are only one point for one, which is even better. These are 50 calories and they have six grams of protein, but I'm excited to have these and I'll see how I compare the two, which one I like more. I think I'll still like the honey jalapeno, but either way, just a good option. It's easy for Adam to grab to take to work and they're a good on the go snack. Okay, a few more snacky things. We got Fiber One Chocolate Chip Brownie Cookies. These are two points for one on WW. This is one of my favorite flavors, although the chocolate brownie has been my favorite lately. But for these, it's 70 calories for one, two and a half grams of fat, 17 carbs, six grams of fiber, and two grams of protein. Okay, we've been out of Love Crunch, which is our all-time favorite granola. So this is the dark chocolate peanut butter flavor, which is our favorite one. It's four points for the serving of a quarter cup, 150 calories, five grams of fat, 18 carbs, two grams of fiber, six grams of sugar and four grams of protein. And this is just so good. It really is like a dessert. And sometimes I like to add it to my yogurt, but sometimes I just like to have a serving plain. Usually we can find it anywhere, but we've been out of it for a little bit. Okay, then I wanted some gummy things. So I got some Soli gummies. These are the mango. And then I also got some bare fruit rolls. So both of these are just a good gummy option when I kind of want something sweet, something gummy, something candy-like. These are two points for the pack and they're kind of like fruit snacks. It's 70 calories for one, 14 carbs, seven grams of sugar. And then these are one point for the pack and it comes with two of these little rolls like this. And for that serving, it's 60 calories, 13 carbs, and two grams of fiber and eight grams of sugar. Okay, last thing that I got. So Crunchmaster, these are their avocado toast crisps that they have. This is in the chili lime flavor. So Adam picked these out. They are gluten-free and vegan, and for the serving of 12 crackers, it's 130 calories, 23 carbs, two grams of protein, and four points on WW. And they have like a bunch of different things you can do on the back with them, but we usually just like to honestly have them plain or in some of the different dips that we like to buy. That wraps up everything that we got from Woodman's today. That was exhausting. It was a big shopping trip, and we needed so much of this stuff. So I'm feeling good and ready for a good week of eating. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.